Hi guys! So today, our low-carb dinner is composed of chicken, broccoli, and avocado. So you may achieve great results within this carb range as long as you eat unprocessed foods. And this is what we call the real foods. So just like the fresh uh, chicken, and then we have the veg, which is broccoli, and other leafy veg and of course avocado that's really a great help for you know achieving a great result so as usual we are using the coconut oil and of course a small amount of salt chicken is among the world's most popular meats it's high in many beneficial nutrients and an excellent source of protein. If you're on a low-carb diet, it may be a better choice to go for fattier cuts like wings and thighs. Pero it depends pa din sa'yo if you like to choose legs. That will be fine. And for your info, chicken is considered as zero in carbs. Most vegetables are low in carbs. Leafy greens and cruciferous vegetables have particularly low levels and the majority of their carbs consist of fiber. On the other hand, starchy root vegetables like potatoes and sweet potatoes are high in carbs. So broccoli is a taste cruciferous vegetable that can be eaten both raw and cook. It's high in vitamin C, vitamin K, and fiber, and contains potent cancer-fighting plant compounds. So here, the carbs per broccoli is 6 grams per cup or 7 grams per 100 grams.
Although fruits are generally perceived as being healthy, they are highly controversial among people following a low-carb diet. That's because most fruits tend to be in high in carbs compared to vegetables. Depending on how many carbs you are aiming for, you may want to restrict your fruit intake to one to two pieces per day. However, this does not apply to fatty fruits like avocados or olives. Low sugar berries such as strawberries are another excellent choice. The avocado is a unique type of fruit. Instead of being high in carbs, it's loaded with healthy fats. Avocados are also extremely high in fiber and potassium and contain decent amounts of other nutrients. When looking at the list of carb numbers below, keep in mind that the majority or about 78% of the carbs in avocado are fiber. Therefore, it contains almost no digestible net carbs. So the carbs for this one, 13 grams per cup or 8.5 grams per 100 grams. Okay, heavy cream contains very few carbs and little protein, but it's high in dairy fat. Some people on a low-carb diet put it in their coffee or use it in recipes, but of course don't use sugar. A bowl of berries with some whipped cream can be a delicious low-carb dessert. So, the carbs for this is 1 gram per ounce or 3 grams per 100 grams. So Jaran, our dinner now is served and of course we have the uh, fried chicken and then broccoli and of course avocado with all-purpose cream. So now guys, may I kindly remind you that exercise can help you to lose weight as well. So improving your metabolic health, increasing your muscle mass, and it improves your mood. So it's important to do the right kind of exercise.
If you haven't subscribed yet on my channel, please like the video, comment if you have questions, subscribe and hit the bell button for you to get updated on my upcoming low-carb ideas. Thank you so much guys for watching.